Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here. I hope you guys are extremely doing good. So in today's video, we will be talking about how an Adobe SRE interview experience will be, how I have cleared the Adobe almost six rounds for a site reliability engineer role. What were my interview questions? How each round was different from other and what kind of things that an interviewer expects from a candidate who is giving the interview at that particular period of time. So stay tuned till the end of the video. I'll be revealing all my interview questions and the patterns for each of the rounds. And yes, it was one of the toughest interview which I have, uh, have cracked in the last two months. And obviously one of the dream organization which I always wanted to join and work with. So let's go deep dive into the number of interview rounds that I had. So I had almost six rounds, including the director round guys. So I got Adobe call a very different way. So uh, as you all know, recession was going very hard. Uh, people were not getting jobs and I thought of taking a leap or to get interview questions from all the top product based organizations because I wanted to give my students the best. Now how I have applied to the Adobe is basically from the Adobe portal. So I have applied almost five, six jobs in the Adobe portal for senior SRE, SRE roles, but I didn't got a call guys because at that point of time, every company was sending me a reply that your position has been filled by an internal candidate. Your position is not getting open right now. Your position got freezed and so other things were going on and I was literally worrying a lot. And luckily one day this happened where a recruiter emailed me via the Nokri and she told that there is a drive going on in Adobe for a particular date and she asked me to send my resume. Seeing that message, I was very much happy and to my happiness, I sent a reply uh, to her immediately. But you know what? Even though waiting for two days, I didn't get a response from her. That enthusiasm after seeing her reply over email was not there after waiting for two days. And that's where most of the candidates get dropped from that particular position. And they think like, okay, recruiter ne chhod diya, ab mera bhi scene khadam. But you should not do like that. Same way I didn't stop there. I called up my friend Aditi. Now Aditi was working in Adobe as MTS2. I called her and I said that, yaar, as a scene tha, one recruiter has emailed me, but she's not replying. Can you just ping her and say that you have a friend Praveen who is looking for a job and send my resume. Now within few minutes of my, me getting a call with uh, Aditi, uh, she has put a ping to the HR and I was continuously following up with Aditi ki yaar, kuch hua ki nahi, kuch hua ki nahi. And she was telling yaar, Praveen, thoda patience rakho, ho jayega sham tak. And luckily by God's grace, I got a call from direct recruiter of Adobe. She was very impressed with the way that I have approached and I told her that yaar, I have waited for you for uh, two days and I still didn't got a reply. So and drive date was coming very close. So I didn't wanted to miss the opportunity. And she took my profile, she gave it to the manager. Now my first round is getting scheduled right after the week. So it was Saturday, Sunday and then Monday was my first round of interview and to be precise, it was one hour discussion where the interview deep dive into the questions, very basics to the advanced. Let's take like what is CICD pipelines, how in Walmart you are designing the architecture of an application. Let's take you want to deploy the Node.js, how your Node.js application is getting deployed from one uh, uh, environment to other environment. What are the different kinds of automation tools you have integrated with your CICD pipeline? What is SRE basically? What are the principles of SRE engineer? And how you can tell that when an application is having an issue in the production, what is MTTR uh, mean time to recovery? What is the approach that you are going to take? What is root cause analysis that you are going to do? What is the production analysis that you are going to do? What kind of support that you are going Going to give to your clients and all those things were there in this round one along with that there was a coding question so coding question was basically uh, he has told me that you were given a aws account and with the help of aws account you are now going to write a python script where you have to hit all the aws account services and you have to get the data of the cost that each service is getting incurred. So basically we have to use Python with Boto3 and we have to do this coding question. And one more thing guys, a heads up. If you don't know the answer of any of the question, politely reply that, can I share my screen and do a design diagram on this? Now system design and coding are also important for DevOps and SRE engineers as per my understanding 
for the offers that I have cracked in the last two months. And the similar lines, I have started the Prime Batch 6.0, where system design, coding, mock interviews, resume reviews, 14 plus real time projects, your interview questions from top product based companies, your interview questions straight away from Walmart, Amazon, and Microsoft and Google. And also, you are going to get the resume template. So basically, everything is packed in this Prime Batch 6.0. And there are many, many things that are getting loaded and 5.0 was a grand hit guys where we got 40 plus LP as the placement and students have got placed all over the world. You name the company, my students will be there. Not believing, check out the links, go to the success stories tab, go to the prime batch 5.0 placements tab and check all the details. And if you are still having doubt, talk to any of the students on courses.adevops.in, all the students uh, maybe queries, they talk. It's basically an Instagram which has been designed, Instagram pattern which has been designed for our platform. Go ahead and check out that. Now going on to the round two. Round two was purely on Terraform and again uh, databases guys. So uh, interviewer was mostly concentrating on infra side. So some of the questions which have been thrown to me was uh, write the Terraform code to spin up the infra on uh, AWS. So I have uh, taken out a visual studio. I told him politely, can I share my screen? I took out the visual studio and I started uh, doing the coding. So basically, it's a simple pattern guys in Terraform, you need to remember resource, the resource name and ABC, any name you give on the brackets, you type all the details that are needed for that resource. So basically, you have to give uh, the parameters which we, which we tell in the coding. So you need to give all those things and then your your blocks will be getting ready. So VPC, subnets, uh, then you have your networkings, route tables, then you have your virtual machines, then you have your databases, so kind of that. And I given the structure very properly, main.tf, you have to give providers and everything. And he will be asking questions like, what was the version you have used at that particular point of time? So you need to remember that three, uh, three point higher version you have to tell confidently that you have worked on Terraform. Now going ahead, the main question was what is Packer? How will you create the golden AMI? So golden AMI is nothing but uh, what will happen is basically in an organization being a DevOps and SRE engineer every three months or every quarter you will be getting a, a machine uh, from the cloud and you uh, and our security team will be updating some kind of OSS, some kind of patches on that machine and we have to roll out that image onto all the servers basically a refresh of the existing servers we have to do or the patching of the existing servers so Packer is a tool uh, which we have integrated with the CICD pipeline and this with a single trigger and where you give all the dump of uh, IP addresses and everything to the uh, to the Jenkins CICD pipeline with the help of Ansible and the Packer will be deploying all the things on your new service. So basically I have given that answer. He was happy uh, quite a bit and uh, there is one more coding question in the round two also. So the question was how can you get the IP address from one lakh servers and how that server you need to and in each of the server you need to replace that file. So basically here again you need to use Ansible. You have to tell that you have you will use Ansible inventory file where you will give dynamic inventory file basically where all the IPs of one lakh servers will be placed dynamically on your inventory. You will be dividing according to the groups in the Ansible and you will be writing the Ansible playbook where you get a file from the uh, from the uh, JFrog repository and you will be doing the deployments right uh, by using uh, the get URL module and a shell script module okay now the this round primarily again focused on various SRE related things and uh, one of the question which I still remember is basically he has asked me the entire design structure of our CICD pipeline so again I, I have told him very genuinely what I have worked how I have uh, worked on that and some of the manager related questions were also asked like if you are uh, put into a trouble and uh, you have your team with you right uh, what will be uh, your step in mitigating that trouble whether you will be informing to your manager or you will be taking the step and then informing the manager or you will be waiting for your team talking with your team and then taking the decision so here he's also checking my leadership qualities like whether i will talk with my team and take the decision whether I will reach out to the manager, take the decision or I myself take the decision. So I have given the answer that first of all, because the team is with me and I am being at the uh, lead position, I'll be take, calling up the team and I will be taking the decision among the team. So team is with me and then I will be putting that uh, solution to the manager. Uh, meanwhile, we'll be implementing that because it's a production issue and that's how we'll be able to resolve and uh, even though manager is not available or available, I'll be taking and going ahead doing the production deployment because other directors, other managers will be there on the production issue. So that was my question, honest question, because at that point of time, when your manager is not available, you need to take the risk.
risk of getting those things done. So that is where your leadership qualities will be seen. And now coming out to the third round, it was basically a pure managerial round where the manager was very good. I still remember uh, he was very polite. He started with very friendly conversation and deep dive. Yaar, pura matlab deep dive into one project only that was my chatbot automation project again in prime batch 6.0 that is placed now in this project i i was uh, given a task where he asked me like how you have implemented the project what are the use cases how this infra is capable of supporting how many users your chatbot is taking at present how much you can scale up in the future so basically scaling reliability on the cloud how you have deployed the application how you have written the kubernetes file so here kubernetes files he has asked me to write an entire architecture how you are using route 53 when you hit www.chatbot.com how the entire flow of the uh, website transition is happening and obviously he was asking me how this data is getting saved so uh, I have told that we are not using any database. So we were using a Hubot framework, which is integrated with Slack. So basically a Slack bot we were using and the Python and Node.js code we have done for both front end and back end. And that's what the solution I've given. Some of the areas here, yeah, it was a little bit uh, doubt. He has cross questioned me also. I was not able to answer, but that was completely fine with him, I think. And he has promoted me to the next level of interview. Now, after the managerial round, there was one more technical round where they wanted to judge my pure coding skills and here in this coding skills guys you see uh, the first one was coding like you can see like very simple uh, coding he has given uh, okay first let's discuss about the system design so he has given a system design question where he asked me to design the ci cd with the help of helm docker kubernetes and how when an application is getting deployed on the kubernetes how you are going to take the steps or the measures which will be helping you to resolve your production issues so this was the question and the next question was suppose you are uh, you have a server okay you want to get the cpu utilization memory utilization ram utilization the number of threads it is running the number of processes it is running and everything from the server and that's when he has uh, he has given me the question and after this he has given me a question like you so okay you have got all those things so how will you make sure that this as an email is sent to your team so i have written a python code where we have used the python boto3 again you hit the endpoint get the data manipulate the data send back as an email option to the data and he has also given me one more scenario like i was completing uh, halfway through and he was giving me more scenarios on top of that so that was one of the important uh, point where we have to remember that if you are doing something in front of the interviewer, he will be cross-checking you. He will be judging you whether you are the correct candidate for your team or not. Now, after that round, I came to know that it was basically a round where they were checking my fitment for the senior role. If I'm not clearing that, they will be giving me the junior role. So I, after the interview, I came to know and hopefully I, will, I cleared that round also. And the final round was the director round. And in director, most of the questions which were bombarded was uh, regarding my family. Uh, regarding the background of my family, regarding uh, how uh, I myself look in the future if I am given a position in Adobe and uh, why I am leaving the current organization, what are the scenarios, what are the risks that are involved in everything and why only Adobe and uh, why only his team basically and uh, I, I got struck at one point of time where I told that I was working on the repetitive task so I am looking for something else. So he cross questioned me like okay in our organization also in our project also we are doing the same kind of thing so how will you come out of this so that's when i got fumbled and i told him in a polite way that uh, yes that is true completely and being an sre and devops engineer every time we have to know that uh, the work is stagnant at some point of time but i will be bringing up new to the table where i'm looking at uh, different kind of things again on the new perspective where that project in a new when i absorb it i'll be finding some loopholes on that and i'll be giving the resolution now when i told this he asked me that okay you are in a current organization what are the loopholes you have found out again i gave the chatbot example because that was one of the best thing which i've done in government and i have received the award also so these were some things and the director round was a little bit tensed only guys because he has cross questioned so many things your friend is in trouble how will you rescue him how will you support him so basically those kind of manager questions are very much important to know and yes in prime bat 6.0 we have kept everything do check out the links in the description and don't forget to like the video subscribe the channel i have cleared all the six rounds guys and i'm very much proud that uh, i have received the offer letter from adobe and uh, one more thing is whenever you are doing something always think a goal in your mind when you are at x organization you should always target for 
2x kind of organization which is giving you 2x kind of support 2x kind of employee benefits 2x kind of the data that you are looking for so what are you waiting for if you are in a service based organization think for a product based organization if you are in a product based organization think for the best product based organization which you can enter and make your parents proud always make sure that your parents are having a smile on their face never let them down i have done many mistakes in my journey i would not ask you to repeat those things right so make sure you are making your parents happy and you yourself stand on your feet never depend on any person or anyone in your life okay so mehnat karo padhai karo jam ke mehnat karo guys don't worry about the consequences mehnat 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 and i am telling the fact that i was from tier 3 but still yaar mehnat kare hain yahan tak aaye hain aap bhi mehnat karo aapko jo chahiye aapko milega theek hai so this is singham signing off with a signature and do share the channel with your friends so many things are in pipeline see you there bye